Hello and welcome to my instance video series. Are you prepared? Today I will summarize the stockades. Uh, I don't know a short name for it. Usually I just call it stockades. But if you know, please comment uh, below and I'll add it in. <clears throat> First off, <clears throat> um, the basics. The minimum level for stockades is level 15. Uh, this is quite useful because it's a fast instance to boost and and uh, there there are some quite nice drops in here uh, but they're all bind on equip basically so it's quite a low drop chance uh, the recommended level for for this dungeon is 22 to 30 but I would say that you should be around 25 the entire party because it's very easy to ninja pull in this instance and the packs are quite difficult you need a bit of cc and um, uh, it's easy to wipe if you ninja pull uh, the trash mobs are between 23 to 26 and in total there are five bosses and one of them is a rare boss uh, the instance is located in stormwind which makes it basically an alliance only instance. Uh, I know people that have run in here with a, a level 60 horde character to try and farm uh, wool cloth and silk, but I would not recommend it. There is, there is not enough good loot in here to, to uh, put in that amount of effort, I think. So for the quests, the horde has zero quests in total since it's basically an alliance only instance. Uh, the alliance has six quests in total um, and basically all of them can be picked up at level 22 except for the Fury Runs Deep which is um, level 25. Uh, this quest is a bit weird, I will come back to that when we talk about this quest, but um, the Stockade Riots is an exceptionally good alliance quest. It actually starts in Dead Mines, so make sure that you have played Dead Mines before Stockade, if possible. Um, the first quest, What Comes Around, is uh, a quest given by Gord Berton in Lakeshire in Red Ridge Mountains. Uh, he wants you to kill Targor and bring back his head. He would reward you with Lucene Longsword or Hardened Root Staff. Uh, none of the rewards are amazing, but uh, it gives quite a lot of XP. Uh, the second quest is Crime and Punishment. Uh, it, uh, the quest giver is Councilman Mills type. It's located in Darkshire in Duskwoods. He wants you to bring back the hand of another inmate, the hand of Dexter Ward. Uh, he would give you the ambassador's boots or the darkshire male leggings none of them are fantastic but the xp is still good uh, the third quest is quell the uprising uh, this is given by warden thelwater and he's located just outside of the stockades instance uh, so this quest is quite easy to pick up and it gives xp gold and reputation with stormwind and basically he wants you to kill certain amount of inmates so it's it's an easy quest to complete the next quest is the color of blood and the quest giver is nikova rascal which is located in old town uh, over here in stormwind and she wants you to to uh, loot red wool bandanas 10 of them and they drop from all inmates in the instance uh, however, if you're five people having this quest, it's not guaranteed that all five party members will actually complete the quest, depending on how many mobs you skip. Uh, but it's a solid quest and you should be able to complete it if you prioritize looting uh, the Red Bull Bandanas. Uh, the rewards are XP, Gold and Reputation with Stormwind. Uh, the Fury Runs Deep uh, is a quest uh, inside Stockades, but it has uh, a pre-quest pre or a prerequisite quest that you have to do before. 
uh, and it's located in wetlands near Dunmodr. Uh, the the quest giver and pre quest giver is Motley Garmason, and he wants you to do the Dark Iron War quest before. This quest is level twenty five. That's why this is has such a high level, and this is basically going into Dunmodr, which is an elite Iron Dwarfs area, and killing and looting stuff. So this is quite a hard quest. Most people who do, who goes into Stockade doesn't do this quest because the the pre quest is is basically too hard. Um, so I don't really recommend that that you try to pick this up. You can can uh, do without this. But if you do complete the pre quest, the instance quest uh, will be picked up at Motley Garmason, uh, and he wants you to bring back the head of Deep Fury, which is an inmate in Stockade. And he will give you Belt of Vindication or the Head Basher. None of these items are very good, so so there's really no reason to go uh, go through all the effort to do this. Uh, the mace is too fast, basically for for paladins and for um, warriors. And also the mace from Dead Mines is still better than this mace, and this is level twenty five quest. Uh, so, I don't really recommend this quest. Uh, the Stockade Riots <clears throat> is the best quest in here. And the pre-quest to pick up this quest is actually dropped from uh, the last boss in Dead Mines, Edwin Van Cleef. And he drops this unsent letter, which you have to run into Stormwind, run... Uh, uh, I think it's from from the king down to um, the um, uh, the NPC right outside of Stockade, and then he will give you a quest into Stockades. Uh, and the instance quest for Stockades uh, is uh, given by Warden Thelwater, which is the guy I talked about. That's outside instance. After you have completed this quest, you have to do some more quests inside of Stormwind. But in the end, you will be rewarded with the Seal of Vryn, which is uh, an excellent ring. And you will probably use this ring uh, above level 40 even. Uh, so this is highly recommended and the main reason why you should go into Stockades. Except for the fact that you can do five quests uh, quite easily in Stockades. <clears throat> so drops in Stockades. Uh, Stockage has technically five bosses. Uh, one boss is rare, and he's the only one who actually drops loot. So Targar the Dread, he's only a quest NPC. Dexter and Ward is only a quest NPC in vanilla. Hamshock doesn't drop anything. He's not a quest NPC or anything. Um, Basil Thread, uh, which is considered the last boss in Stockade, he doesn't drop anything except his... Uh, the quest uh, quest item. The rare um, the rare mob, the Brugal Iron Knuckle inmate. Uh, he uh, he can actually drop some nice loot, but it, he's very rare, so I wouldn't farm him just for it. If he, if he's up, then try to kill him. Otherwise, uh, leave it be. But the dagger is is very good for rogues. It's quite a slow dagger for ambush rogues and for other classes it's a, a solid offhand weapon. Uh, the iron knuckles is uh, also a solid offhand weapon for all uh, melee classes basically. The chance on hit is it's quite nice but um, it's very random so don't really count on it. <clears throat> Jimmy handcuffs is is good for for uh, male classes, but um, but nothing too amazing. Uh, so my thoughts on the dungeon: uh, Stockades is a nice dungeon for Alliance. Uh, the only reason you should actually go into Stockades is if you have all the quests except for the the deep. Let's see what it's called: the Fury runs deep. Uh, I don't really recommend fetching this quest. It's uh, 
you want to run stockades at level 25 or even maybe a bit before 25 and to be able to complete the pre-quest for, for uh, Fury Runs Deep you probably need a party that is 25 and go into this Dunmodder Dark Iron Dwarves area with full of elites and quite easy to wipe actually. Uh, however if you do it it's a nice additional XP. Try to run stockade once and focus on making sure that you pick up all the um, quest items, especially the red blood bandanas, uh, red wool bandanas. Uh, this will be the only quest that's actually uh, you might not be able to complete in a single run. Uh, the instance itself is very fast, you will probably unless you wipe you will probably do it in less than half an hour and there's since it's in storm wind uh, it's quite easy to get to the instance so if you you could probably run it once more if you still need some red wool bandanas it's it's quite fast in that sense um, the stockades is actually a very good instance to boost low level characters so if you have a level 60 character um, and um, um, wants to provide some extra XP to a group of friends or just a friend and so on. Go in with something that can AoE well, like a mage or, or something, and you can basically pull the entire instance in one pull and then nuke it down, and I think that's about half a level or something per run. So it's quite common that Alliance do this to, to help out their friends in, in um, uh, let's say, the early 20s and, and uh, up to level 30. Um, and it's quite easy to just, while your level 60 friend is waiting for something else, to go in and do a run. Um, so, so I highly recommend that for alts and, and uh, for, um, for friends uh, to help each other out. Because it's a significant XP bonus if you do a few runs. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you for watching. Links to dbvanillagaming.org can be found in the description for all bosses and quests. Please comment with suggestions on how to improve the videos. Thank you for watching.